Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs. If you are new here, just hit subscribe and click on the notification bell for future videos. Now guys, in this video, we will be talking about equations and graphs of circles. First, we will have this standard equation of a circle. The standard equation of a circle is actually the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. The center is actually h and k, while the radius is equal to the square root of r squared. Let's have an example. Given an, an equation of a circle x squared plus y squared equals 16, the center is actually at 0, 0 or the origin, while the radius is equal to, to the square root of 16 or just simply equal to 4. You might be asking why is the center 0, 0? If you will try to analyze and compare, this is the standard format of the equation of a circle. Now, this is the given circle. From this equation, going to this equation, h must be 0 to obtain x squared. Right? Because if this is 0, then it becomes x minus 0, or just basically x, and then squared. So this is it. And then, we have here, if k is 0, then you have y minus 0, then that should be just y, and then squared, so you have y squared. And of course, 16 is just the value of r squared here. So that's why if we take the square root of r squared, or just the square root of 16, we get the radius, which is equal to 4. Now, to graph this equation of the circle, of course, we need the rectangular coordinate system. As you know, the horizontal axis is known as the x-axis, while the vertical axis is called the y-axis. The center is at the origin, so we plot here the center of the circle at the origin. Next to that, we will be using the radius which is equal to 4. So what do we do? Remember the, the, the definition of a, of a radius of a circle? It is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference. Or in other words, if we move 4 units from the center of the circle, we get a point on the circumference of the circle. So from the center here, just move four units, maybe going right, left, or also going up and down. So in this video, I will be showing to you moving right, left, up and down to obtain more points on the circumference and get more accuracy in drawing our circle. So we have here one, two units right, three units right, and you have the fourth one. So that means the last point belongs to the circumference of the circle. So I'll just leave that one. Then, here on the left, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, okay, I have to preserve the, the last one. So both points now belong to the circumference of the circle. If you actually have a compass for geometry, you can just stop there and use the compass to draw the circle. But if you don't, then we might want or we might need to obtain as much points as we can. So we can just use also the upper portion here. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4, so the last point will be preserved. Then that. So at least we have four points. And so we can now at least trace, connect those four points, and form the circle. Again, it is always advised that you may use a compass for geometry for more accurate drawings. So you have now the circle, you may now label the center as 0, 0, and x squared plus y squared equals 16 for the circle. Okay, so that's how we do the circle. It's as easy as it is. Now from here, guys, you can actually check your answers if you did it right or not. In my case, I can't actually download the Desmos app on my computer so I actually have GeoGebra. So for Desmos app, I am using the online or the web. So we actually, I, you can just actually type desmos.com and then this will appear here. Now all you have to do is to encode the given. So just click x and then squared. Then you have plus y squared equals 16. So we actually have the circle here. And then remember that our center is labeled as 0, 0. So that's the origin. So we have the origin here. Okay? So the circle here is actually the same circle we obtained 
in our solution. So if you may, we have here, we go back. So that's actually the zero zero center, and then of course you have um, the end or the points on the circumference are four zero, zero four, negative four zero, and zero negative four. Okay. You may also use the GeoGebra. Let me show to you the GeoGebra. So the GeoGebra is this one. Oh. So here's GeoGebra, and this is actually an offline. This is an application on my computer, so I can actually download it for free. You can also encode everything here in GeoGebra. So same way, just encode the given. So this should be the x squared also plus y squared equals 16. So you have this circle in here. And then of course you may include also the origin as the center. Okay, so this A or point A, that is the center of the circle. So next, I will be giving you a second example. So the second example is this one, x minus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 16. So in this case, the center of the circle is not anymore at 0, 0, but at 3 and negative 2. So you might be asking, why is it 3 and negative 2, not negative 3 and positive 2? Okay? So this is the mistake territory of, of, most, of most students. So the, they just actually take negative 3 right away, but... If you will try to analyze and compare the given equation from this standard equation of the circle, that is actually x minus x minus. And notice the center is just h. So which means we will just take x minus and you have 3 as your h. Okay? So x minus is part of the format. So your 3 is actually the value of h. And then for y minus k, Maybe it's quite different now. So this here's the uh, reflection. 3 is just the value of h. And then for this one here, it might be different because you have a minus here, you have a plus here. So how do we do that? Well, actually, you can just transform plus 2 into the negative, I mean the minus of negative 2. Because, right, this is just double negation, which is equivalent to plus. Okay? So in this case, you have y minus, the real format, y minus, y minus, so k is this one here, which is the negative 2. Or in most cases, students will just remember to change the sign of the number. So this is negative 3, just take the positive. If this is plus 2, just take the negative. Okay? So again, just like get the opposite sign of the given values of the numbers. Then the radius is equal to 16. I mean the square root of 16. And so r is equal to 4. So we'll just do the same. Okay, so first, we'll just take or plot the center. The center is a 3 and negative 2. Make sure that your point is aligned with 3 on the x-axis and aligned with negative 2 on the y-axis. Of course, to make sure your point is a 3 and negative 2. Next to that, same way, you'll just count 4 units going right, left, up, and down. So that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So preserve the last point. Then 1, 2, 3, and 4 as well. Next, the 1, 2, 3, and 4. Same way. Then lastly, you have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so you have now four points on the circumference of the circle. You may now trace, connect these points, and form the circle. Okay, again, you may use... You may use um, a protractor for geometry for better drawings, maybe. Next, just label the center, 3, negative 2, and label the circle, x minus 3, quantity squared, plus y plus 2, quantity squared equals 16. In the same way, again, the same as, the same as what we did a while ago, you may, you may check your answers if, it, if it's correct or not using the GeoGebra, GeoGebra or the Desmos app. So in our case, maybe we'll just use the, the one. This one that this geogebra. So from here, just input a given. So we can just remove this part here. Erase. You actually have x minus 3, quantity 
and then squared. You can use the, key the keyboard or you can use this one here. For phones, maybe you need a keyboard. Okay. Then plus, you have Y minus, I mean, for your phone, you may use this one, especially if, it, if it's touch screen. And then if not, maybe you can use the keyboard as well. So you have Y plus 2 quantity squared equals 16. Okay, so that's the circle that we did in the second one. Then the center changes to 3 and negative 2. So that's it. So notice that if you will try to compare this circle here in the GeoGebra and our, um, what's this? Our circle in the example or the graph that we had, they are exactly the same. Okay, so the center is at 3, negative 2, and the radius is equal to 4. So, in this part, we can say that we are correct. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching the video. See you again in my future videos. Goodbye.